Modern Technologies of Diagnosis and Treatment of Living Cells Fundamental Principles of Bioelectric and Bioelectromagnetic Treatment of Cancer A cancer patient often faces three basic problems. 1. The complete imbalance of the cell that helps create cancerous cells. 2. The cancerous cells that live in the body. 3. The damage the cancerous cells inflict on the organs of the living being. The treatment of cancer patients can get through by following the plan below. 1. Creating cellular balance to prevent the production of new cancerous cells from healthy cells. 2. Activating cellular suicide command in order to eliminate the cancerous cells which have sheltered in the patient's body. 3. Strengthening the energy centers in the cell to compensate for the damage caused by cancerous cells. 4. Implementing the specialized treatment plan to repair the irreparable damage. We will also explain how to activate the cell suicide bioelectromagnetic command. A. To activate the cellular suicide command in cancerous cells, having an overall positive bioelectromagnetic charge, it works in two forms. 1. Increasing the negative bioelectromagnetic charge of the cells. 2. Absorbing the positive bioelectromagnetic charge of the cells. B. To activate the cellular suicide command in the cells with an overall negative charge, it also acts in two forms. 1 increasing the positive bioelectromagnetic charge. 2. Absorbing the negative bioelectromagnetic charge. C. To activate the cellular suicide command act in compound cells. It functions in two forms. 1. Increasing the cellular negative bioelectromagnetic charge and absorbing its positive bioelectromagnetic charge. 2. Increasing the cellular positive bioelectromagnetic charge and absorbing its negative bioelectromagnetic charge. The arrangement of the performing program in the cells can be as follows. 1. By running the plan number 1, we wait until the overall positive bioelectromagnetic cells commit suicide. Then we make plan number 2 function until the cells that have overall negative bioelectromagnetic charge commit suicide. Two. The implementation of the two plans should be very accurate and calculated in order to prevent the growth of the opposite group when a group which has the negative or positive bioelectromagnetic charge commits suicide. The compound cancerous cells are usually the most aggressive ones and their treatment is very complicated and hard. Because when the cancerous cells which have positive bioelectromagnetic charge are controlled the cancerous cells, which have negative bioelectromagnetic charge, are free and can easily grow. On the opposite side, when the negative group is controlled, the positive group grows independently. The schedule of cell control plan should be in a way that produces maximum productivity for the destruction of the target cells and minimum freedom for the opposite group. The cell's confrontation capacity and resistance to cellular death and treatment should be investigated and calculated exactly and be included in the main plan. One of the most important points of the treatment program of the cancerous cells is its repeatability. Not all the cancerous cells may exit the circuit within a single treatment period. Therefore, we have to repeat the treatment. The cancerous cells use the cellular adaptation law against the repeat treatment programs and highly resist the repeat treatment. They will be usually successful. The treatment programs should be adjusted in a way that does not create the cellular adaptation in order to solve the big problem. So the program should be classified on the basis of influence. Hence, the treatment should start with the lowest power and gradually increase its level in the repeated runs. If the cancerous cells exit the circuit with a full period of treatment that begins from the lowest to the highest levels, we end the program. If some cancerous cells remain active in spite of full period of treatment, the second phase of treatment should start. 
repeating from the lowest to the highest levels. Considering the ups and downs of the intensive treatment programs that were described before, there is no possibility for the cellular adaptation. Thus, the treatment can be continued until the complete destruction of cancerous cells. Conclusion The complete treatment program of the cancerous cells should include all types of cancerous cells. It has been already explained that cancer is a chromosomal disease. Wavelength of the chromosomes is unique for each living being. As a result, the cancer is unique for every living being. Also, it was mentioned that the cancerous cells do not follow a specific pattern to divide. So, new cells are created with each division. It means if a living being has 500 million cancerous cells, the cells could almost be 500 million types of cancerous cells. Thus, the diversity of cancerous cells is the number of cancerous cells multiplied by cancer patients. The number will be astronomical. So the enormous complexity and difficulty of this disease and its treatment are revealed. For successful cancer control, the treatment plan must have very broad operating range in order to cover all cancerous cells.